Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to another ramble session. Yes, on a Monday even. Oh my goodness, oh, I just got back from my walk, so I'm trying to cool down. Yeah. Okay, well, I hope y'all had a great weekend, and I hope y'all are doing well, and got a lot to share today. So make sure you stay all the way to the end, because there is just something so special. Um, okay, so... How'd your weekend go, guys? I hope you had a nice, relaxing weekend. I had a rather inwardly stressful weekend. Yeah, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all part of life. So um, I wasn't really in the mood to do much of anything over the weekend. We had a very rainy, gloomy weekend. Um, we were down south. We had to go meet um, our contractor last Thursday because he's going to be working on some saltwater damage down there. Um, yeah, because I do believe we're going to be putting that house up for sale as well. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, and my husband had to do some stuff because, um, yeah, because we have termites down there. Yay us, yeah. So we had to do some prep work down there for them to come and put the tent on. Oh yeah, there's just, um, you know, fun stuff all around here. So <laughs> I just was not really in the mood to do much of anything, but we did go out and about and I got some fun stuff. And then when I got home yesterday, which I will show you, I got like the sweetest Happy Meal. I mean, all of my Happy Meal is sweet, um, very sweet and very generous. And I think all of you, this one in particular was just really, really touched my heart. Um, so I'll share with that with you in a minute. So yesterday we were just hanging out, ew, hair, watching TV, and I just, I wanted to do something creative. <laughs> so I did make one of these master boards. It is not complete yet. I have just a box of scraps that I need to make a whole bunch of these. So I worked on that. And then my pineapples, okay? Oh yeah, my husband is trying CBD oil. We'll see how that goes since nothing else works in the medical world for him. That was another source of my inner struggle this weekend. Uh, but anyway, I was very happy when I got home yesterday and checked my pineapple patch. Now I have eight plants. Oh, dang it. I always forget to bring stuff in here. Um, I was gonna bring you a book in here to show you a pineapple plantation because on my maternal grandmother's side, no, I'm sorry, my paternal grandmother, Yes, my paternal grandmother, my father's mother, <laughs> her ancestors, which of course are my ancestors, they uh, pioneered one of the first of the Florida Keys down here in Florida. And it's called Elliott Key, and you can get there by boat. And we've been numerous times, and they pioneered that island along with a few other folks uh, way back when. And they are featured in a little uh, museum out there, and it's just really cool. Uh, anyway, they were pine pineapple, uh, you know, plantation people, you know, they grew pineapple. So, <laughs> um, I have a pineapple patch in my backyard that I started, well, I started it in one pot and then just recently I transplanted them all and threw them all out in the yard and now it's a big, uh, pineapple patch and I have eight pineapples growing, pineapple plants growing, I'm sorry, four of those plants have now uh, bore fruit and this is one of them. Okay. Now this is almost life size. Okay. So that tells you how, how big it is. It's actually like as big as this whole sheet of paper, which is 11 and a, yeah, 11 inches tall. That's about how tall my pineapple is. The fruit part of the pineapple is about four and a half inches big. So they don't get very big at all, but they are super delicious. Oh my goodness. Much like any other homegrown fruit, it is so much better than what you get in the store. And I started my first plant. Oh my gosh. It must have been, let's see, we 10 over 10 years ago. So probably like 13-ish years ago, I planted my very first pineapple. And we had had a luau for our homeschooling group and I cut the top off of the pineapple and I said, "Oh kids, let's see what happens. Let's just stick it in a pot of dirt." And it took about 3 years before uh the fruit started to grow. Okay? So pineapples <laughs> 
uh, they take a very long time. They take their own sweet time. And the only good part about it is, be, uh, for me, is I have such a black thumb that I cannot grow anything. Like, I will literally kill a fake plant, okay? It's it's just not in my genes. Pineapples, I can grow. They are the, the easiest, depending on where you live, they are the easiest thing to things to grow. They just take a long time, so you need patience. In fact, I named my very first pineapple plant patience. Yeah, because I'm weird that way. Anyway, I haven't named this one yet because the poor thing's gonna be gobbled up here in a few weeks. She is almost ripe, and I don't know if you can tell from this picture because it's just a photocopy, but like down in here, it has like the most orange or, or the, the prettiest like orangey color and it will turn, hopefully I'll get a picture of it when it's like super ripe. It'll turn like a, a coral color almost with some yellow. It, they're just gorgeous, just gorgeous. So I am very proud of my pineapples. And interestingly enough, um, a lot of people don't know how pineapples grow. No. You know, it, and to me, being a Floridian, I mean, it's, you know, common. You know, we have pineapples down here. We grow pineapples down here. We don't have pineapple fields, though, which I think is pretty odd because they don't need a lot of soil. We don't have a lot of soil where we live. We have very little soil, um, and then the rest is all limestone. So, at any rate, all you have to do for a pineapple, in case you're wondering, and even if you're not, I'm going to tell you anyway, you get a pineapple from the store, you cut the top off, you leave about, you know, like an inch or so. This is how I did it, okay? Um, you leave a little bit off the top, you know, you cut the top off, and you just put it in dirt, and you leave it there, right? You leave it there, you forget about it, it's all good, nature will take care of itself, and in about three years, you will see... A beautiful pineapple growing. Now, if you're wondering how to figure out when they're ripe to pick, you gently tug on one of the little leaves up at the top, and if it pulls out easily, like very easily, it's ripe and ready to go. Okay. Generally speaking, pineapples will only bear fruit one time. Uh, in some cases, depending on the pineapple, I have no idea what kind of pineapple this is, but um, in some instances, they will give off like little shoots. And I have seen uh, at my daughter's school, they actually have pineapple plants with like five pineapples growing on it. It's crazy, so yeah. So sometimes you get that, but give it a try, you know, if, if you can. Um, they like sun, but they will live in dappled sun, which is where these are growing. And yeah, so as soon as we eat the the four that are growing on um, the plants that I have, we will cut the tops off of all of these and I will plant them. And then my patch will grow from eight plants to 12 plants, yeah. So, super cool, just super cool. I love living where I live. Okay, so then of course I had to scour Facebook for my, you know, the humor and things, or really this isn't humorous, but you know, my take on things. Um, yeah, that, that, that. Okay. Then I was digging through my purse for something and I found this Yoder's Meat and Cheese Company. This was from our vacation. And then I also found this shoved in the bottom of my purse. This is the um, menu to the Essen House. And this was one of the Amish um, like restaurants that we ate at when we were on vacation in Michigan a few weeks ago. Yeah, so huh, I should probably dig through my purse some more. Okay, now let's get into, well, let's first, um, we did go out and about this weekend just short for a short while because it, like I said, it was stormy and rainy out. And I did find these new, um, you know what they're called? Notepads, right? I'm only pretending to be organized. That is so my life. When life gives you lemons, trade them in for coffee, and then some faith-based ones, right? So cute. So I found those and I had to get them. Um, yeah. And then my husband went to the cigar store. He wanted to pick up a few of his, um, some, some cigars. Um, and he doesn't normally smoke cigars, but he did way back when, a long time ago, he smoked cigars. And um, I even bought him a humidor one year, a small humidor. And now I use it for my vintage um, scrap box. <laughs> but 
he was turned back onto them because my brother-in-law smokes them, um, my sister-in-law smokes them, and his cousin smokes them. So when we were on vacation, they had them out and he really liked this certain type or whatever, not this type, but a certain type. So we have a cigar shop down south. He stopped in to get a few of his cigars and in the corner, my daughter noticed, she was like, hey mom, look at all those boxes. And there's a sign on the pile of boxes, cigar boxes, that says um, free to anyone purchasing something. You know, I was like, hello, yeah, yes, yes please. So, and then the extra ones, like if you want extra ones, they're only $2.50 a piece, right? So anyway, so I got this one and I loved the artwork on it. I mean, it's real, oh sorry for the glare. It is this beautiful red. Red is one of my favorite colors. This is just so beautiful, right? That's what it looks like. And then of course on the inside, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful box. Yeah, so I got that and that was nice and it was free, which is even better. So now I have more stuff to store more stuff. Okay, um, now let's get into my journal, all right? Um, okay, it looks very much like the last time you saw my journal, which is blank. Um, yeah, I have so much work to do in here, but I did over the weekend work on these pages here. And this right here was, um, look at that pineapple. It was from Allison, a sweet, sweet happy mail that I got from her. And this page was super fun. And I did this probably on Friday, maybe. And then this one, uh, this uh, quote right here just says everything about what's going on my life, going on in my life right now. Sometimes the fear won't go away, so you'll have to do it afraid. Yes, that is from Mantra Wellness Magazine. Love that magazine. And yeah, so um, that's just my life right now. You know, it's just my life. It's just uh, not only things, you know, scary things that are going on in the world around us, but um, in my life in particular, we are um, heading into another um, transition in our lives. So yeah, um, sometimes they're fun, sometimes they're not. Yeah, I'm not really sure where I'm at with all that right now, um, but I'm working through it. I'm working through it and my journal is helping me. And um, yeah, we watched part of Hamilton. We need to, we watched the first part of Hamilton. What a fabulous musical, okay? What a fabulous musical. It's on uh, Disney Plus, I think. I'm not sure, my daughter has it. So yeah, we watched that together. Completely amazing, amazing. So I can't wait to watch the rest of that. And then I still have more things, you know, to write about and, and all that stuff. So I'm going to get into that. Um, oh, look at that pretty hydrangea garland. Yum. Okay, yeah. So I have a lot to work on in my journal, okay? And one of those things has to do with... Oh, wait, I'll share that in a second. I also got my new gardening gun. Okay, so I have two of these now, and I get them from Recycle Bank. All right, sorry if there's a glare. And... <clears throat> Uh, somebody asked me, forgive me, I forget who it was. Um, I spent a lot of hours over the weekend replying to all of your lovely comments. So thank you so much. Um, somebody had asked me what the garden and gun, they were looking forward to me, um, harvesting this magazine, which hopefully I will do a video of that this week. Um, garden and gun is simply a, a magazine about Southern living, you know, it, um, and not, well, maybe in Florida. I don't know. We don't really consider Florida the South. Even we said we could. I don't know what we consider it. I'm not really sure. Anyway, it's it's about uh, Southern things, you know, in the Southern United States. Okay, so it is a really cool book though, and I'm glad I got it. So we'll go through that at some later time. Okay, we did this, and then when I got home, my sweet sister Karen from down under in Australia sent me a beautiful happy mail oh my word okay look at this beautiful wrapping paper it's so gorgeous it's so colorful oh my word yes I'm gonna be using this up um, and she had told me that she had sent it you know she sent a message and said oh it, it's, it says it's been delivered did you get it and I was out of town and it had been storming all weekend long and I was so glad that our post 
person, whatever they're called, uh, mail carrier. I was so glad because usually, um, I'm not sure if he's working on all cylinders because he just like crams stuff in, which he did with this package too. But I am so glad that he shoved it into my mailbox because it was stormy and rainy all weekend long and I was so scared that when I got home, I was gonna come home to a soggy mess. Not the case. So some of the things that she put in there, oh my word, see this poor box, okay? This poor box, <laughs> it was crushed, but I'm gonna use it. I love the, I don't know if you say pukka or puka. I don't know, but I do love herbal tea. And this is a collection, so it has a bunch of different ones. And look, just the packaging on it is so gorgeous. And I know a lot of you, like me, um, love packaging, okay? And sometimes, yes, I will admit it, we buy things specifically for the packaging. Because <laughs> you know we're going to use it somehow. So this was beautiful. And um, last night I had some lemon ginger and manuka honey. Yes, it was delicious. So this is definitely going into my book. And my sweet sister Karen, she sent me Tim Tams. Holy cannoli, okay? I don't know if, I do believe it's an Australian thing. I do believe I read that on the package. They are delicious. There is just something about like, um, chocolates you get from abroad. It is not like American chocolate, not in the least. I mean, seriously, it's not. So this is going to go over here and this is going to go into my book. Let's see. Did I put the date on here somewhere? Yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I got this on Sunday. So, and I had this on Sunday. So this is going to go in here. Oh, but wait, there's more. There is more. <clears throat> okay. So, I cried, guys. I just have to tell you I cried. Karen, um, I have so much love in my heart for you. It's just not even funny. And I need to get together a package for you very soon. So, let's just dig in, okay? Oh, my word. She is so sweet to me. I, I Honestly, I don't know what I deserve or what I do at all to deserve such kindness from all of you. I thank you so much. Um, so this is her beautiful little card and I love the cards that she sends me because I can just use these as, um, what's it called? Inspiration, right? This is a watercolor, a print, you know, but I can use this as inspiration to do my own type of thing. So cute. So cute. So a beautiful little card from her and she's she wrote also hope you enjoy the tea yes I did enjoy the tea very much with my Tim Tams yesterday and then um, here let me take off these notes um, she's just so sweet oh my goodness okay this has to go in my journal as well so I'm just right here next to my journal putting that in there okay all of this goes in there in fact. Okay. So look, just some bits and pieces, stickers, washi, and some joggers, which you have tons of now. Oh my goodness. Now I did open this and look through it first, but just so beautiful. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Karen, I hope you don't mind, but I will be definite. I will definitely be sharing some of these. I absolutely love sugar skulls. I mean, look at them. They're like vinyl stickers and they're gorgeous. Oh my goodness, so, so beautiful. And I am going to put them in this little tray right here that I got from the Dollar Tree so that I have them right at arm's reach. And I have some other stickers that I need to put in here as well, as well. Okay, let's get this little box. This is my, what they call, I guess they call um, sneakers joggers in um, Australia, so. This is a cute little thing here too. I might use this. I can glue this like a vinyl bag. I can glue that into my journal, use that. So she sent me a whole mess of um, sneakers, right? For walking, which I can use one of these for today because I did my walking. So look at all these, how sweet of you. Yes, I love these. These are great. So many shoes. And I love these types of sneakers too. 
so cute oh my goodness okay so those are all gonna go right in there for my journal okay and then she said look at these beautiful little cards right oh they're from Kiki K I love Kiki K stuff so sweet spread kindness and I was feeling feeling a little rough this weekend okay I know like Saturday um, I was being a lump you know I told my husband I'm like I just feel like a lump you know and he said that's okay feel like a lump sometimes you just got to feel like a lump and it's okay so that was very sweet of him and all day Saturday or most of the day Saturday I sat and watched um, Laura from the Jersey crafter <laughs> oh my goodness um, okay so give generously live simply love holy this describes sweet Karen to a T and I love it surround yourself with beautiful things Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. I so needed that this weekend. Like, she has no idea. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. So beautiful. Okay. So then here it says um, Australian washi tape of our flora and fauna. Yeah. And like, I mean, obviously she lives on a different continent and in a whole different world, but um, like we don't have any of these things, you know, we don't have any of these things. And oh, another sneaker. You go in there with your friends. Okay, so let's see here. This, um, her washi tape is so cool. So she, she always packages things so sweetly. Oh, and look at those little camera things. Little camera stickers, those are adorable. Those go over there as well. So yeah, magpies and just flora and fauna. Just some fun washi, flip-flops and mason jars, all. <laughs> she wrote uh, flip-flops, which are thongs to us. Yeah, thongs are not flip-flops here. Um, so some mason jars, love this flip-flop. Oh my gosh. And then all these different Australian ones, just so, so beautiful. Thank you so much. So these are all gonna go in a very special spot so that I can use them up. And then look at this, okay? This is so beautiful. She picked this up for me um, and there was only one and the sweetheart bought it for me, right? Like I totally would have been so selfish and kept it for myself, let me just tell you. Yes, but she is not selfish. She is so giving and she has such a sweet spirit. And this is an absolutely beautiful magazine. Now, I'm not really sure. I mean, look at that. Look at that artwork. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. And can I tell you, the pages are really odd feeling. It's almost like a Daphne's diary. In fact, like, I don't know if the same publishing company publishes them or what, but look at all these pictures. Now, I have to tell, oh, look at that. That is gorgeous, and again, I would use something like this as inspiration to do something of my own art, you know? I mean, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. And the paper, it's matte, but it's cool. It's so cool. And the artwork is amazing. And this is by a Turkish artist, have no idea how to pronounce her name. Sorry. But let me see, where do they have, okay back here um hmm the, there's the team it I, I don't know if it says where it's the publishing it just says publishing director find a copy so it's dot co dot uk so yeah, it might come from the UK. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, but, and it has so many cool, just cool images. Look at that, you can cut this out, and it has really great articles in it. Talks about staying in touch, you know, writing hand handwritten letters, which I'm gonna get into in a second. Please stay tuned till the end. I mean, look at that beautiful image right there, right? I could cut out that whole image and use it like when I send happy mail or something. And that's what it's talking about, sending happy mail. Just so, so many 
creative thinking, so many things, right? Now, I don't know, I think I'm going to, of course, read this magazine first and then I will pet it some and then um, I might even keep it under my pillow for a month or so, I'm not really sure yet, but before I take a scissor to it, cause it's just that beautiful. Like look at that vase of flowers. I mean, so many different things. This, look at this thing. I am gonna take this out and I'm gonna use it. You can, it's a whole wall calendar, right? That And it has like the gems for the month and the flowers for the month. And then you write in here whose birthday is when. Isn't that clever and fun? So what a fun magazine. And they just have so many different things. And beautiful paper on the background. Look at this watercolor. I mean, frame it in florals. Capturing flowers in watercolor. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. I mean, so many beautiful things. The, here's another um, uh, art project that you can do that's within the book. You can make one of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a gorgeous book. I, I think I've heard of it before. It's called Calm, Project Calm. Let me just leave you there on that beautiful page for a second. Cause I wanted, oh gosh, this video is going on forever. Cause I wanted to get a couple of things off my bookshelf real fast. Okay. All right. So a lot of, just so, so many things. So many, look at these beautiful cards you can cut out. Release, rest, connect, grow, learn, give, create, invest, engage, and it goes on. I mean, there's a whole, a whole other page of it, you know? And then you, and then they give you the, the template. You can cut this out, fold it up and glue it and make it into a little box. So adorable. This magazine is beautiful. Like I said, I'm going to have to love it, read it, um, possibly tuck it under my pillow at night for a bit before I get into cutting it. Yes. Um, this was interesting to me as well. Uh, it's about, it's an article about uh, a lady that was born with cystic fibrosis, which, um, kind of recently got very close to my heart because one of my um, cousin's children had, the youngest has cystic fibrosis and she is a doll and a half. Um, yeah, so this is super fun. Thank you so much. Look, oh, look at this. I have to read this too, A History of Collage. I mean, hello. Oh, Karen, you are so sweet to me. You are too sweet to me and you know me so well. Thank you so much. Now here's the, the piece de resistance, if I said that right, resistance. I don't know. I don't speak French, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so she wrote a sweet little note, right? And um, she wrote, because I think you will love this gift the most. Okay, yes, I do love this gift, but I love all of it. I love all of it. I cannot thank you enough, okay? Now, let me just preface this by saying, a few months ago, most of you know, um, I really got turned on to doodling. Okay, now, let me show you. Even though I was in a rut this weekend, okay, and I wasn't feeling all that great, um, one of the things that just makes me happy is to doodle, okay? And I learned how to do these from Sarah, um, which is Doodles by Sarah. I will leave her both of her links below, right? Okay, so this is what I did this weekend. I sat at, in the kitchen and I doodled. I went back through her hair uh, video, which I'll link that particular video below, but how cute are these, right? And then what I do with those is I take them, right? And I color them up and then I have them here. I cut them all out and I use them as like little stickers, right? Because I love to, um, add these to my journal. It's such a cute, whimsical look, and I just love them. So, a few months ago, I had purchased, let's get rid of this, I had purchased her books, and I absolutely love them. I had shared them on my channel, and then um, Sweet Sarah, she had um, commented on my uh, video, and I was just fangirling for a bit. Oh, can I just tell you, okay? Um... Now, let me see, okay, she lives in Sydney, Australia, all right? My sweet sister Karen lives in Australia. 
So, my sweet sister Karen, girl, oh my gosh. She contacted Sarah. <laughs> she contacted Sarah, the author of this book. And she um, spoke with her and told her how much I, you know, enjoyed her work as well as my, my sweet friend Karen loves her work as well. And look what she sent me. Well, this is a handwritten letter by Sarah who wrote these books. And oh my gosh, like I was crying. I was crying. Um, and I'm just going to read it to you. I'm just going to, because it's so, so sweet. Um, Dearest Elizabeth, hello and greetings from Sydney. I hope you're safe and well. Your very thoughtful friend Karen reached out to me and asked me to surprise you. Honestly, I was more surprised. I don't usually get letters from subscribers or people who watch my videos. Oh, Sarah. So when I got her letter, I was so touched. This letter is probably late and I hope that's okay. <laughs> I'm actually watching one of your videos while writing. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. I mean, to think that someone, you know, is like watching one of my videos, you know, I mean, she's just, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. You know, it's like a celebrity to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so she wrote, anyway, I'm writing to you in my super cold studio. It feels like a freezer in here. I've not made a video because it's hard to draw poor baby because down in Sydney, it is now wintertime. Their uh, seasons are opposite because they're on the opposite side of the equator. Um, I hope you get warm soon, Sarah. I'm sending you a little something uh, made to add for your journaling. These are some of the things I made the beginning of the year to launch my shop, but due to the pandemic, I put it on halt. Oh, that's sad. Thank you so much for supporting my work. I love your work, Sarah. Enjoy and enjoying my books. Your videos are like a breath of fresh air. Oh my gosh, that just melts my heart. Keep it up. Watching you talk about my books and adding it to your journal is fun to watch. I'm so glad you like them. Sending you a tight airmail virtual hug. Keep being you and happy doodling. God bless, Sarah. Well, Sarah. Um, yes, I will treasure this. And along with that, look at these cute little items that now I'm not sure if her, if her website is up and running yet with her things. Okay. But look at that doodles by Sarah. Oh my word. And again, I will link her stuff down below. I'm going to be super careful with this because yes, you know me, I'm going to save the sticker to put in my book. Okay, so here is her, I'll have all the links below anyway, but here is her her card, right? She has Instagram, she has Twitter, she has uh, YouTube. And here, I hope you can see it, here is her website, okay? Oh my gosh, so adorable. And her items are for, her books are for sale on Amazon. That's where I went to her channel and used her links, okay? Now, oh my gosh, look at these cute little things. These are um, like vinyl stickers. How adorable are they? And I have to tell you, watching her videos, um, they are so easy to follow. They're so easy to follow. And one of the tips that I use is I slow her videos down to 25%. Um, not because she goes through them quickly or anything like that. It's just my brain works slowly. So just so I don't have to continue, you know, like, rewinding, rewinding, rewinding. I just put it on 25% and it goes really slow so I can follow along. A work in progress, that's adorable. Look at her little logo there, her brand, so cute. And then trust your process, these are stickers. Mistakes are proof that you're trying, oh. Don't lose sight of what you really want. Oh gosh, I could certainly use all of these this weekend. I doodle with Sarah. Yes, I do. I do doodle with Sarah. <laughs> oh, what a sweetheart. And then here is this too. Oops, I ripped it. Oh, darn. Sorry, Sarah. I have another one though. Now, let's see what this is. Maybe they're in her store now. I don't know because Australian mail takes forever to get here. Uh, I just, just going to say, I think Karen sent it on July 2nd and it just got to me probably on the 18th. Puns of encouragement, stay fresh all year, 2020 calendar. Oh, look at that. 
be yourself. How? Oh my gosh, how cute. You're doing a magnificent job for February. That is adorable. You goat this. Look at her doodles. They're just so cute and they add such a beautiful, uh, they're such a beautiful addition to journaling. Your eggs specially awesome. That's so cute. I could draw these little eggs for our breakfast that we had on Friday morning. Adorable. Keep on rolling. Oh my word. Sarah, these are adorable and thank you so much. You're one in a melon. Oh my word. These are so punny. Belief in yourself. How cute. Oh my gosh. I love these. Rooting for you. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are definitely going in my book. And how sweet of her, right? Because, well, I mean, first and foremost, how sweet of Karen, right? She contacted Sarah and told Sarah how much, you know, we both love her work. And then Sarah sent her this stuff for Karen to send to me. I mean, just touch my heart, hang in there, how adorable. And it just really touched my heart. Like I was literally in tears yesterday because just the thoughtfulness of that blows my mind. Like I'm so humbled by that. Oh gosh, um, how cute would this be on laundry day? Her doodles are just so fun. Tough cookie, cute. Snailed it, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this. This reminds me of my sweet Allison. That's so adorable. How cute is that? Oh my word. I'm gonna put her, um, her address to her website too because maybe she has these in her shop now, I'm not sure. You are dynamite, oh my gosh, so adorable. I love her books. I just, she is like legit the sweetest lady. Like so, so sweet, you know? Oh my gosh, look how, I just, I am gonna treasure, I'm gonna treasure all of this, of course, from my sweet sister, Karen. Um, but thank you so much for sharing your time with me and thank you again, Karen, and thank you again, Sarah. And if you have not checked out Doodles by Sarah, you have to go check her out because they are so fun to do and so many different doodles and they just add so much fun to your journaling or to your bujo or to your um, planner or whatever, just adorable. And yes, I will treasure all of this and I cannot wait to start using all of it. I've already enjoyed the tea. Those Tim Tams are fantastic, just everything. Thank you, Karen, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave you all there. And woo, this has gone on long enough. I saw a bunch of you last night over on um, Nicole's live. She had a live late at night. Ooh, it was like 11 o'clock my time. Um, or, well, she started earlier than that. I just caught her at around 11 o'clock my time. Way past my bedtime. But I hope um, y'all are watching now, The Ramble. And uh, cause some of you asked me, am I doing a ramble? And of course it's Monday, of course I'm doing a ramble. So. Thank you so much again, Karen, and thank you, Sarah, for brightening my day, for lifting my spirits. I really needed it yesterday, and I so appreciate it. So today I'm gonna hopefully get to working in my journal. That is my goal. And uh, yeah, so I will thank you so much for your time and sharing it with me and sticking it out through this long video. I just had a lot to share. So I will talk at you all real soon. I'm gonna film some more videos this week as well. And yeah, thanks again so, so much. And I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.